Oh, there it is, back in handyman once again. Uh, just a little uh, recap of what I'm working on. Uh, any of you have dogs that like to dig under the fence? See, I got all these boards. That didn't work. Shoot, let them out here to go to the bathroom. Ten minutes after, and they dug a hole big enough to fit under. And I threw a soccer ball in it, and a big boulder, so they couldn't dig through that one. And you know they don't just dig under the fence; they dig these big ass holes all over the place. Look at that. In the dog's defense. I think we got field rats or gophers or something. There used to be mounds of dirt. All of the through all over the place, but now there ain't no mounds of dirt, but there's big ass holes of dirt. <laughs> so what the dog catcher told me to do is to put down chicken wire around the edge. So I took this part and I'm gonna make it a dog run. Now, I've already done this. I put up this gate yesterday. Well, not yesterday, a couple days ago. And I put down the chicken wire. Now, as you can see, you want to dig the chicken wire a couple inches down under the surface of the soil so that your lawnmower and stuff like that don't mess with it. And, of course, you can get worms and all kinds of stuff. It's a lot of work. It's a lot easier if you let the kids that own the dog dig the damn hole but of course mine are too lazy so here I am fixing it up and the one that's actually digging the holes is my wife's dog and that's her soul mate she says so we gotta keep that dog see there's a worm yeah free turtle food for me free fish bait for some You dig your little trench, about two foot wide. <coughs> now, when we did this fence right here, just the part with the gate, I bought a 25 foot roll of two foot wide, and it's about 16 bucks. Well, this time I did a 50 foot roll because this is about 50 foot. Two foot wide and it was only 17 bucks so maybe i should have bought that in the first place anyways i'll show you let me get this chicken wire down like it's supposed to be and then i'll show you what it looks like after it's laid down it's a pain in the ass because it's all rolled up and you gotta unroll it and then you gotta hold it down while you're unrolling it or while you're burying it so but dog catcher says this will stop them from digging under this fence. And I, I've tried everything. I even had them on chains. One dog won't stay on the chain. It's too small. We've had shock collars. Uh, the shock collars, their hair's too long because we got Pomskis. So the hair, the shock collar doesn't affect them. And as soon as I put them out here and had this done, they dug a hole over about in that area where you see that one rock or whatever that by that pole they had a hole dug in less than 15 minutes and they went under the neighbor's fence again and of course the neighbor's fence they just run out of their yard and run all over the place so it's a big pain in the ass but let me show you what i'm talking about let me get this laid out all right here's what it looks like one's down i haven't put any dirt in it yet Covered up. All the way down. Make it look like it's 
never been touched. So I'm gonna do that now. It's starting to rain. Oh yay. At least I'm not sweating my balls off. Okay. Here we go. It's all buried. That's a lot of work. I hope this works. The dog catcher says that it's supposed to hurt their feet and make them stop. And hopefully the dogs won't be able to realize that I'll put this in here like this. Hopefully it works. And it'll stop them from doing that. There's only one other side that I gotta do this to. And that's that side, but I'm hoping they just feel like they can't dig out of that side. Because I don't feel like doing that side. But now I'll just put all the rocks back over here and put the dogs in here. See what they think about it. Alright. As you can see, I finally got it all buried. And put the rocks back. Now... You'll see when I put them out here, the big dog likes to move the rocks and dig the holes. So I guarantee you, I'm gonna put them out here and take a lunch break before I give them food. And I guarantee you, they'll try to dig out within that hour that I take my lunch break. And then I'm gonna put up, well, I'll work the ground for a greenhouse. But this was keeping the dogs in the pen. Yay. Now here they are, the culprits that piss me off, especially that white one. Come on, you guys want to go outside? Let's go check out your new home. This is what I put up with. They don't ever listen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ruby. All right. Now, watch this. I'll go in and eat. Guarantee you. They're gonna try to dig out of that shit. And we're gonna see their reaction.
Hey, like that shit. Kind of stopped digging, didn't you? That wasn't so pleasant, was it? Huh? Dumbass. There we go. See, they tried to dig there. Been out here trying to dig quite a bit. Keeping you in, ain't it? Huh? You wanna go back on the chain? Wanna stay out here for good? Quit digging! They're trying to dig everything along this fence. Look at that. Dumbasses. They're gonna keep trying, I guess. Now I'll have to come out here and fix this fucking shit again. That's why I don't like dogs. That's why I don't like Pomskis. Jesus Christ. They gotta, and then when they get out, they won't let anybody catch them. So it's pain in the ass then too. But I'll check up on it later. See how much more they dug out. What's the most I can do, man? People don't like them eating in their trash and shit. Whatever. I'm tired of these fucking dogs. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.